Good morning. Today we're here at the Kroger Marketplace. We're going to go in and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, as soon as we come into Kroger here, notice they have avocados on sale up front and center. 77 cents a piece, and they have these white onions for 99 cents a pound. So, pretty decent deal here right off the bat. I guess Kroger knows that everybody's going to want cabbage here for the New Year celebration. Also, today is December 30th, 2022. One day left, New Year's Eve. Uh, got the green cabbage here, 39 cents a pound. What a deal. Found a good deal on the tomatoes on the vine here. Red tomatoes on the vine, $1.27 a pound this week. That's down from $2.19 a pound. Tomatoes have skyrocketed again in price. Good to see a little bit of a sale on these. So I found a couple items that say low price on them, and whenever we see low price at Kroger, usually they go up again, so we want to pay attention to this. $3.99 for the five-pound bags of Idaho potatoes. These were $0.99 cents on the digital coupon last week, um, but yeah, this is regular price now. $2.29 for a three-pound bag of onions. Something else, though, that says low price on it. We've been seeing onions go up lately. A little bit of a better deal now to get the 10-pound bag of potatoes for $5.99. I do notice the bell peppers have gone up here at Kroger. They are now $1.50 a piece. Two for three dollars. These were $1.39 a piece. Now well, these Adorbs mandarins are getting way too expensive, guys. $6.49 on sale for a five pound bag. On sale. $7.99 is going to be the regular price. Now, I know, I, I don't know, guys. This is crazy. Some people were saying that your Kroger's had the cuties on sale, the three pound bags for $2.49. Not at our Kroger, they're on sale for $4.49, but no $2.49, no digital coupon that I see or anything. Uh, $4.99 is gonna be the regular price now. I know I went over this the other day, but if you find good deals on apples, you may wanna pick them up because they have raised theirs to $1.79 a pound on all your regulars, Gala, Granny Smith, Fuji, uh, a little bit of a deal on the opal apples here, $1.79 a pound down from $1.99 a pound. We're also seeing some ins some inconvenience stickers here, but we see that they're coming in, so I don't know if they just haven't taken those down yet. Uh, they do have a little bit of a sale on the Envy apples, $1.79 a pound, that is the regular price. Um, it says locked in low price, but that can change at any time. Somebody asked if I would check out some of the berry prices at Kroger here. They do have the blackberries, the six ounce pack, two for five this week. You do not have to buy two, you can buy one for $2.50. Regular price, $3.29. The pint of blackberries, regular price, $6.59. Wow, that is just crazy. On sale for $4.99. They have one pint of blueberries for $3.29. An 11 ounce package for $4.99. Raspberries here, 12 ounces uh, for $4.99. Really isn't that bad of a deal considering how much they've gone up lately. Regular price on that's going to be $5.99. $2.79 regular price for the six ounce package of raspberries, which is down. That's actually an okay regular price. You can get them for uh, $2.50 a piece this week. Strawberries have just gotten outrageous. Uh, Driscoll strawberries here, one pound for $4.49. And you don't get any break on the two pound packages, which they don't even have right now, for $8.98. Literally double the price. You would think there would be a little bit of a break buying more, but not today. Somebody had asked us about the Dole chopped salad kits. Uh, they were out of these last week, right before the storm when we were here. Just wanted to point out they're three for 11 this week. You do not have to buy three. Use your Kroger Plus card, you can buy one. This sale is good until January 3rd, 2023. These are now $4.29 for one regular price. $3.67 on sale. With lettuce and salad being as bad as it is lately, we've been getting a lot of comments on the checkout, different spring mixes and stuff. Uh, spinach, they have a sale going on in the Simple Truth Organic, different greens here, two for six. Again, you don't have to buy two, although I would recommend it. They are $3.49 uh, regular price. So you can get one of these for $3 this week as long as you use your Kroger Plus card. 
Yeah, we got a bit of a sale on cranberries this week here at Kroger for the two pounds of cranberries. $1.99. Regular price on this is $3.99, so half off. Same goes for the one pound. Or wait, no, these are... Is this one pound? No, yeah, see, these are only 12 ounces. 12 ounces, but it's only 99 cents this week. One thing I love about our Kroger Marketplace here is they have a Murray's cheese counter. Some really good cheeses in here, guys. Uh, if you're planning a New Year's get-together party, it's a good place to shop for cheese. And uh, I don't see, okay, some of it's on sale. I don't see any of the Brie cheese on sale. Sometimes they'll have like 20% off of this. Really good deals. Uh, they do have some sales going on here. But yeah, it's definitely uh, pretty awesome, you know, if you're going to get a party together, it gets a different cheese variety going. Notice these little old-fashioned pies here. $1.25 on sale. Remember when these were 50 cents? Really, that's all they should be. I mean, that is like two bites. I don't know. $1.59 regular price for one of these is crazy. Look at this. Four count, just four rolls. Four rolls of the wine. I know these have been going up in price, but $1.99. It's not on sale. They make you want to think it is. But like these little cheeses here. This is Land Lakes, but $1.25 for these. It's like they have this whole case here of stuff. And the only thing that I think is a good deal are these pretzels for a dollar. These are really good. Decent deal on Ritz crackers this week. $2.49 each. You do have to buy two of them. So it'd be like two for five. Uh, and this one you do have to buy two because it says it on their final cost when you buy two but these are <laughs> right around four dollars or a little more now so uh, that's a pretty good deal we went over a couple of these things on wednesday but i did not see the buy one get one free of the whole pork tenderloins here i don't even think they had these at the other kroger it's a good deal we did go over the sauerkraut somebody said they were selling this uh for a dollar 99 it is 249 here at our kroger uh, and if you're looking for some ribs they have the pork back ribs uh, $5.99 a pound. Wow, that's regular price. That is not a sale at all. The regular price on this a week or two ago was $4.99 a pound. I'm telling you guys, you know, meat is going to start going up again. We saw where it has hit Sam's Club. And if it hits Sam's Club and Costco, you better believe it's going to hit places like Kroger, Meyer, all the other stores. So we did go over a lot of these on Wednesday's video, which I will leave that link in the description box below in case you happen to miss that one. I see things here at this Kroger that were not at the other Kroger on the buy five or more deal, like the storage slider gowns. We get comments on these all the time. Uh, these hefty uh, storage bags here. Uh, these are $3.29, and I know it still sounds a lot, but prices have just gone up. Regular price on these, though, is $4.99. Uh, somebody was asking about these a couple weeks ago. You get 40 of them, $3.29 on sale on the buy five or more, save a dollar each deal. Again, this is all mix and match. So you don't have to buy like five of these, five of these. Uh, anything over five, you're saving a dollar each. So got the minute rice here too. Also the 28 ounce boxes here for $3.79. Regular price on these now is a whopping $4.99. $4.99 for this. So Anytime we can get a sale, guys. They've got the Quaker granola bars here, $1.79 on the buy five or more. And I'll point it out again here, the Nature Valley granola bars, $1.99. These regular price for one box, $4.29. So if you're one of the hundred people that comment on Nature Valley bars, now's the time. So whenever they have these deals, like the buy five or more, or a bunch of digital coupons, which I don't see a lot of digital coupons here this week. There's a few. But you always want to check the middle aisles, the different ends of the store to find some of their best deals on the buy five or more save a dollar each deal. Um, they do have the post cereal on sale too, regular size boxes. $1.99 a box, regular price on all of these is $3.79, which is funny because that's actually down 20, uh, 20 cents. Because these, I know Fruity Pebbles was $3.99, Honey Bunches of Oats was $3.99. So they dropped the regular price 20 cents. $1.99 a box, though, right now. That's a great deal. Looks like Kroger Marketplace has done a good job of restocking bread. Uh, we talked about Sara Lee the other day. We had a couple comments on it. $4.49 a loaf now. Way too expensive. Uh, butternut bread, they are getting it back in. $2.99 a loaf. Uh, $3.49 for the sandwich loaf. Both those used to be the same price, but 
everything's going up guys I got the Sunbeam everybody asked about 229 now that is up from 219 I got some sales on cheese here this week at Kroger they do have the big two pound blocks of cheese now these are all on the buy five or more save a dollar each deal the two pound bags of cheese now 699 is the most that they've ever that it's ever been on this sale it's gone up i remember right before thanksgiving the sale was for 5.99 then a couple weeks ago they had this sale for 6.49 for the sale the sale price now 6.99 for the sale price and the regular price went up to 7.99 guys prices are just getting ridiculous when we find these deals we got to buy them up as we go along they do have a little bit of a sale on the craft cheese, uh, the block cheese here, two dollars and forty nine cents on the buy five or more, save a dollar each deal. Also, their shredded cheese. There's a bunch of people down there, so I can't get over there. Uh, but on their shredded cheese pack, same price, two forty nine, part of the buy five or more deal. So you can mix and match. Get a thing of the brick here, and then you know one of the the other ones if you want the shredded cheese. It's a pretty good deal considering they're three ninety nine regular price now one day before new year's eve and we have absolutely no sales on butter i mean none uh at least on the kroger brand kroger brand land of lake 649 i never thought i'd see the day where challenge butter would be some of the cheapest butter around this used to be the most expensive and to give you an idea this was five dollars last year this has only gone up to 549 hopefully the prices stay the same on that um Somebody was saying, oh, Tillamook cheese. Uh, one of our longtime viewers said Tillamook cheese, shredded cheese. Let's go check that out. I think it's on sale. Okay, so yes, it is on a digital coupon. The Tillamook shredded cheese here for $1.99. What a deal. $4.79 regular price now for these bags of Tillamook cheese. Really popular on the channel here. People always talk about it. Um, and thank you to who mentioned this out to us. $1.99 digital coupon. That's a pretty good deal. As a matter of fact, I have never tried Tillamook cheese. Uh, we're going to give it a shot. I will taste this toward the end of the video and let you know what I think. So it's exactly what we thought with all the eggs. People are starting to buy other eggs because, the, you know, the store brands, the cheapest ones you can get are getting really expensive. $5.69 for an 18 count. But some of the stories we've been hearing on eggs across the country, I feel like this is almost cheap. We've been hearing 18 count eggs go for over $7. $7, which is ridiculous. Um, I mean, you can get the Simple Truth uh, cage-free grain-fed eggs here for $4.79. Some of them are gonna be pretty pricey. Um, and you know, these may go up too, I don't know. Uh, let's see, a 16 or 60 count. Let's see what this is. $18.95. $19 for 60 eggs. You gotta be kidding me. I mean, that's more than Walmart. $3.79 for just 12 eggs, which again, I feel, you know, we saw it for $4.11 at Aldi the other day. Somebody had mentioned on our live show yesterday that Kroger Marketplace here was loaded down on refrigerated creamer. They are. Thank you for mentioning that. Uh, we do see that the International Delight did go up to $6.29. This was $5.99 for a while. They had dropped the price. It has since gone back up. Um, some of these, $3.99 for the smaller International Delights. These have gone down, too. These were $4.19. So a little bit of a price break on those. Uh, coffee, or okay, so here's the Kroger brand, French Vanilla. On sale for $2.79. There are a lot of options here at Kroger Marketplace. Some of the bigger coffee mates have gotten ridiculously expensive, though. $7.40. It's been this for a while, but I just can't get over it. The original, for some weird reason, is $0.50 cents higher than the flavored ones. So $7.99 for that one. They have a couple things here on the buy five or more deal. French vanilla, hazelnut, coffee creamers. So a big one has been half and half and heavy whipping cream. Now they do have plenty. They have a bunch. They're out of some here. Um, but they've got... Some of the Horizon here, which we've gotten comments on, Land of Lakes. They have this on sale, actually, for $3.49. That was the regular price a few weeks ago. I guess they raised the regular price to $3.69, but they still have the Kroger brand, the bigger one here, for $2.99. Just fine. This is this is as good as any, in my opinion. You can get a smaller one here for $1.99, but you're getting more than double. Or right about, let's see, 32 ounces, and this is... 
Yes, 16 ounces. I had to double check on that there. So for a dollar more, you're getting double the amount. So you might as well get this one. I know a couple people on the channel that have to have the lactose-free milk here. Uh, I just noticed here that it's gone up in price again. These cartons here were $3.29. Now they're $3.49. The big jugs here were $6.49. Now these were $5.99 not that long ago. They're already up to $6.79 for all of them. The whole milk version, the 2% version. Uh, and they do have Fairlife, which continues to skyrocket. Remember, this was $3.99 not long ago. I think it's $3.99 still at Meyer. $4.49 on sale here, $4.99 regular price. That is unacceptable. We're going to go over this here in a few minutes, but I wanted to point out that they have a bunch of like house, you, you know, household items that uh, part of a spend 40, save $10 deal. Uh, mix and match participating PG brand items with cards. Spend 40, save 10. Uh, there are quite a few items. I can't go over all of them, but this is a good deal. You know, if you need to get a lot of this stuff anyway, look for the ones that are on the participating deal here. And this is something you may want to look online, too, to see what all is included. We have gotten several comments on cat litter, and we'll go over the dry cat food here in a minute. But I did want to show as we were passing, and I saw this was completely wiped out at the other Kroger the other day. I wasn't doing a video. Um, but this is something we need to think about. If you find cat food, don't worry about the price. Just get some. Or cat litter, I mean because uh, and we're seeing inconvenience stickers everywhere and these are fresh. These are new inconvenience stickers. So this must be becoming an issue again. I will show here real quick that Kroger is getting in a lot of canned cat food. This is good to see. A lot of the variety packs that you guys ask about, uh, they're even getting nine lives back in. Haven't seen that here in a while. Those are 70 cents a can. Uh, not as much fancy feast as we've seen as of late, but I mean, it's pretty packed in here. It looks pretty good. and. Here we go with the sadness. Um, okay, so one of our viewers was asking about Pet Pride. They do have this one on sale for $3.29, but look at this. We're definitely having an issue with dry cat food. Now they have some of the more expensive ones down here, but all of our cheaper options, inconvenience stickers everywhere. Everywhere. You know, and we may have to resort to getting some of these. These are expensive. You get a little, a little bit heavier bags here, but still, very pricey when it comes to items. Some of the more expensive Purina One uh, bags here. All these are gonna be a little more expensive. Also, if you're having trouble with any of these products, uh, we always recommend Chewy.com. We have a lot of viewers on our channel that use Chewy.com. If you're in their service area, you get $40, $49, get you free shipping. So keep that in mind. Also, we have some people that shop for pet food on Walmart. A lot of Walmarts across the country still honor the $35 uh, and over include free shipping. At least they do around here. So that's something to look into too if we run into a major problem like we did last year. They are still getting in a good amount of dog food. We've seen a couple prices go up on that, which we'll go over here in a second. A lot of the cheaper dog, uh, dry dog foods kind of going out the door too. We're also seeing more inconvenience stickers here. Um, they do have pedigree, which is probably the most commented dog, dry dog food that we get on the channel here. They do have this. Looks like this is coming in and Beneful. They have that as well. And all your more expensive brands are going to be down here. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look as bad as the cat food. But this is something we're definitely going to have to pay attention to. Okay, so they still have the pedigree in a can on sale for $1.69, which was what the regular price was a couple months ago. We are noticing some of these go up, though. Some of the more expensive Purina ones that were $2.19 are up to $2.39. Some of the ones that were $1.99, of course, are on sale for that now, up to $2.19. So, you know, this is another thing. When you find a good deal, when you find a sale, buy up a few of them because we don't know what the prices are going to be like next week or even tomorrow. So when you find a sale, you know, we always recommend, you know, buying up a couple, um, you know, at least to get you through until the next sale. So Kroger Marketplace doesn't carry a ton of formula here, but I will say for what they got in, they're definitely getting some, and that's good to see. Been looking for the Similac Sensitive. This has been one that we've gotten several comments. Here we do. Here we go. Here it is, right here. $18.99. We'll check through Kroger. If you're having trouble finding this, they do have it here. Uh, this is the one. I've, we've gotten several comments on this one that nobody's been able to find it. Uh, and they have the liquid one of this, too. So... Good to see that it's coming in here. It's the first time we've seen this in a long time.
got a lot of comments on this, so I just wanted to point this one out. Okay, I am out of Kroger. That place is an absolute madhouse. Uh, day before New Year's Eve here, not surprised. And I forgot to mention, Happy New Year's Eve. You guys will be seeing this video on New Year's Eve. Uh, our video on New Year's will be some of the stuff that we cook and, and uh, some of that kind of stuff that we do before our New Year's Eve dinner and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. Let's try this Tillamook cheese. It's good. It's real good. We've gotten a lot of good comments on Tillamook cheese, so I wanted to try it. Um, yeah, first time I've ever tried it. I, I was trying to remember back when I may have tried it before, but no, I don't think I ever have. Uh, is it $1.99 on a digital coupon worth it? Absolutely. Is it worth $4.99 a bag? Absolutely not. I mean, it's good. It's really good, but it's not $4.99 good. <laughs> Guys, uh, part of the uh, spend $40, save $10 deal, um, that's a pretty good deal. It does look like, you know, you want to look online, check before you even go to the store, make sure it's got a lot of the items on there that you would want to buy. Uh, but that can really be worth it. And some of the stuff that's on that deal is on sale anyway. I didn't have time to go over all of it, but it looks pretty good. As far as the pet food, we're going to have to keep an eye on it again. I mean, now it's dry cat food. Dry cat food seems to be an issue and cat litter. So we're going to have to keep our eyes out for that. Again, Chewy.com. may want to look into Walmart too if your stores are struggling with that. Guys, Happy New Year. Um, wish I could have went over more today, but it was very crowded in there and wanted to go over a lot of the things that you guys have asked about. Plus, we missed the produce in our last video on Wednesday, which I will leave that link uh, to that video down below so you can check that out. Guys, Happy New Year. Thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.